Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and if you're looking behind me, that is Steve from Minecraft. Somebody had a request for how to make them? I've got an idea. So let's get cracking. All right, everybody, this is the Minecraft Creeper. If you haven't built it yet, there is a card up above you can click so you can get it built. Let me show you how we did the technique. These blocks are five by five. I'm gonna show you that again in a minute. We found a creeper picture, we counted the blocks, and then we just started duplicating and nudging until we had the sweet creeper. Let me show you how that's gonna work with Minecraft Steve. All right, everybody, we have got a fantastic bonus on this project. I had a student, Jack, create this awesome Minecraft Steve. So instead of looking at a picture, which was what he did, we can actually look at this so it's much easier to count the blocks. First, I've got a brand new project. Let's start by naming it Minecraft Steve or just Steve. And then we need to bring out a block. Hold down shift, stretch it to Crazyville. Click in one of the boxes, type five and press enter. Choose fit view so you can zoom in roll back a little bit or use the minus to zoom back and then we want to put it right on one of these corners just so it's easier to keep things lined up the very bottom of the toe we're going to make black let's do that right now and move to snap grid and make it size five that is what makes this so easy now when you do Control d and tap one click over it moves to the exact spot Remember, we need eight of these, so without clicking anything, I'm just going to do Control D. So there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is row one of Minecraft Steve. All right, friends, so watch this. This is the coolest way to do this. If you just do Control D and Control Up Arrow, pick your color, don't touch anything else, and then just do Control D, that color stays. Do Control D one more time. Now we want purple, and this time we're gonna make 10 of these. I'm gonna pick this purple, and I'm gonna do 10. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Once again, this is so much easier because Jack looked at the picture and built this for us. Now I'm gonna pick that green, and I'm gonna just go with this one and this one, I'll fix the other one later, and I'm going to paint this one quick. So now we're going to reselect these and do one, two, three, four, five, six of those that are under his chin. So there I'm going to touch just the top row. Notice how little of it I touched, and you can tell you've only got one row because it says eight shapes. Control D, Control up arrow, let's make it all the cool green and then control D and it automatically moves remember we need six so that's two three four five six so we've just made it up to the chin spot now we're gonna make the chin we'll do control one D one more time we're gonna select the flesh color I'm gonna use this one right here and we need one two three four five so that's one done, so there's two, three, four, five. We need one more that's gonna have brown and flesh. And then we need two more that are just brown. One, two, and I'm gonna change them to brown right now. And then I'm gonna click this one and make it brown. And I'm gonna click this one and make it brown. So we've just created the center of his body, right? All right, friends, you wanna make sure you don't slow your system down. So I'm just gonna select this and check the number of shapes. 216 is where you should be at. And right now we need four chunks of this. So looking at it from the top corner, I'm gonna do Control D and then I'm gonna take that new set and I'm gonna move it back with the arrow keys, giving it time to catch up. Once I've got that done, I'm gonna do Control D again. Notice it moves for me, and Control D again. So I end up with four chunks for the body. I'm gonna make sure I'm patient as I wait for it. I think I clicked it, so I'm gonna just touch the arrow and see if it moves. Nope, I have not. So I'm gonna do Control D one more time, and now I've got my four rows. All right, friends, let's do the head like this. 
Notice I'm just barely touching this bottom chunk. That makes sure I don't get any of the blue. And right now we're gonna nudge it two chunks forward. One, two. So now our head sticks out just like that. Then do control D, give it time to settle. When it's ready, go backwards four clicks. So I'm really, really being patient there. Now it's ready, one, two, three, four. And boom, you've got Minecraft Steve's head up there. We just need to add the cool artwork. Let's build the shoulders and arms down here at the ground again. I'm gonna click on one of our bricks and do Control D, and I'm gonna nudge it out. I'm gonna switch it to that fleshy color. And now when we do Control D, if it moves automatically, that's perfect. If not, just tap your arrow and we need to make four of those. And then I'm gonna grab those four. Once again, a cool way is to shift click. So shift, select, select, select. Check that it says three shapes. I must have missed one. I think it's this one right here. Now it says four shapes. Control D. And this time we want to nudge it back. And do Control D and Control D. Now let's get it so at an angle so that we can select those a little bit better. So notice I just grabbed them. It says 16 shapes. I'm going to do Control D and Control up arrow. Let's be smarter about our shapes this time. We don't need these ones in the middle. So let's hollow our arm out so there's fewer pieces to play with. All right, friends, so with those hollowed out, I'm going to get it so I can see it straight. I'm going to make sure that I only have those on top. See how it says 12 shapes? That's good. Control D, Control up. And then we are making one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine, 10, 11, 12. So there's three, control D is four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the next one is nine, 10, 11, and 12. And then I'm just gonna grab those four Notice I selected the top edge of them so it was super simple to grab. And boom, we've got one arm. I'm going to gently get to this edge. Notice how close I was to this edge so I didn't get any of these. And now I can do control up to raise it to the right height. Remember it goes one above so it goes with the chin. And then we're going to take all of that and do control D. And we want to move that to the other side. Just like that, we have got Minecraft Steve. We do need to patch the little holes up here. All we do though is click up on the one brick, select that, and I'm gonna fit view so I can see better. And then if we just do Control D, we can nudge that new one over, Control D again. I'm gonna click up on this one and do Control D, nudge over, Control D again. Let's go back over to this side and patch this. Once again, click on the one we want to go to and fit view. Zoom out a little so we can see. Control D, pop. Control D. I'm going to click on this one right here. Control D, pop. Control D. Boom. All right, friends, I'll let you guys have fun decorating this. I will quickly put in the eyes. Notice we're going up four over three, and we're putting in a purple. And then right beside it is a white. And then over here, two over, is a purple. <laughs> and a white. On the bottom here, I'm going to do shift select so I can do all these at once. So there's four and one up and one up. Let's give them the dark brown. And then for his nose, click and shift click and we'll do the lighter brown alrighty friends so there you have it minecraft steve using the five millimeter cube technique friends i will make the pickaxe and i will make the sword but they are going to be separate videos if you want to try and make ahead of time there's nothing wrong with that friends if you do make something awesome don't forget you can always hit collaborate 
generate a link, copy that link, and share it with me. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. I am HL Mod Tech on all three of them. You can also reach out via Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. Don't forget, friends, if you visit HLModTech.com, we have a Tinkercad page with all kinds of cool lessons. And at the bottom, there is a messaging service. You can reach out to me almost instantly. Lastly, friends, don't forget, Jack did all the hard work. I gave him the way to make the creeper. He did the cool stuff with Minecraft Steve. Friends, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because there are going to be more coming soon. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.